Hey guys, remember the good old days when Rare made some great games from Nintendo System, the 64? I mean, there was GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Donkey Kong 64, just to name a few. And nowadays, since Rare sold out to Microsoft, they've just never been the same, you know. Uh, the games weren't as great and uh, stuff like that. But uh, I think that I've found... I guess a modern day rare if you want to call it for the Nintendo Wii and uh, that company is high voltage software and uh, as most of you know they released a conduit not too long ago and uh, it was a great game maybe not the best game but uh, it, it was good it was fun and it was a quality game from a third party developer uh, it's also the best Wii FPS to date no doubt in my mind and next year they're going to they're going to release two phenomenal looking games the grinder and gladiator ad uh... both of these games look amazing on the wii for with the quantum three engine that uh... high voltage developed themselves which took a lot of effort and uh... at the same time as developing the conduit so they're doing basically two things at once just so we can have a fun and uh... entertaining fps for the hardcore audience on the Wii and uh, uh, the, the, both these games look really fun and really good with graphics wise and uh, I'm, I'm going to have to say that High Voltage is probably the best third party developer for the Wii and they're dishing out some great games for Nintendo system just like Rare did not too long ago uh, so support this system they're really putting a lot of effort to bring quality games to the hardcore audience uh, so and uh, high voltage software has shown a lot of potential in the conduit uh, granted it wasn't the best fps ever it, it wasn't it probably got a little bit overhyped by wii fans i know i hyped it up too much myself but uh yeah the the game was good it was a good first shot in fps for for from high voltage and uh having to build the engine while uh constructing and perfecting the controls of the game was probably not an easy task and you gotta give them props for that so that's another reason why is because they they're trying they're putting effort they're not doing it for the money they're doing it for just to have fun and have good games on the Wii and uh... that's something that Rare used to do I th I'm pretty sure you remember Conker's Bad Fur Day yeah that game was fun that, that was funny too you know stuff like that and I think uh, that they're really trying hard and that's it just reminds me so much of Rare putting out those good games and it's even especially better with high voltage because third parties don't want to try on the Wii and they uh, they don't want to put uh, any effort into it they just want to throw out something with a good cover art and the little kids will buy it and stuff you know High Voltage is, uh, they're different. They're trying to make quality games, and I see a lot of potential in these first three games that they're developing. And I can't wait until Conduit 2 comes out and uh, any other games that they could work on after these two come up next year. I mean, I, I just can't wait to see what's to come from them. So I think we should support uh, High Voltage. They're really putting a lot of effort into bringing some quality, hardcore games to the Wii without being Nintendo themselves so uh, I think I think I found the the modern day rare for the Nintendo system uh, back in the day when rare released GoldenEye and Perfect Dark you know all the ones I mentioned earlier those were amazing games some of the best games of all time maybe um, and High Voltage is certainly putting a great effort into bringing those kind of games to the Wii so that's why I think we should I think high voltage is uh, the modern day rare for Nintendo system in 2009